dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. It's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. Now, I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. Managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. This is gonna be a mess. This game is nothing but a mess. Look at that. We gotta wait for the Haitians. Uh-oh. This is the location of our stakeout. We're gonna sit on the bench. Take in the views a little bit. They'll never know it's me. Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did end Dr. King. It's too easy. Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him, and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle, and you sweat, and someone can take it all away just like that. And that's my cue. We're going into that warehouse. Uh-oh, cops, cops! Hey there, brown sugar. You sure looking sweet today. <laughs> We've got to be discreet now. We got cops out here. And we about to take them apart. If that don't work, we just take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For two. It looks like they're separated. These crackers love enslaving African women. Let's get that street from the start. You do understand what we're doing. Huh? They made my job easy. Look at this. We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. You see, I have some decency, but I'm going to take your ride. I'm not going to kill him, but I'm taking your ride. <laughs> I'm a savage. I interrogated him right in front of his homies when they were looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I took their ride. That is too funny. I don't think you were supposed to do it that way. I don't know if you were, but <laughs> let's get down to business. The voodoo shop. And it's not that far away, too, because sometimes you got to drive like 2000. We're at 400 right now. So this is right around the corner. Literally. Wow, that was just smooth. That is a smooth way to get through that section. I did not have to deal with anybody else. Just get in, get out. And here we are. And this just looks like a house, doesn't it? It just looks like somebody's rich house, or I guess it's a business. We're just going to go right through the front door. I'm a savage. I don't have time for all that stealthy stuff. We're just going to break the door. They're not going to do anything. What are they going to do? They're going to call the cops? Yeah, you should leave me alone. Don't worry about me. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going into the voodoo shop. Why do you care about that voodoo? Voodoo should scare you. You should want me to go up in here and, and do whatever I'm about to do. This game is funny. It really, the storyline, everything that happens is just, oh, now we got to wait again. We got to wait for the voodoo. Uh-oh. Make yourself comfortable, young man. Fit. Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. 
What can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have Dahala, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucet. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's... That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him, see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. Let's see if this intel is any good or if we're going to be on our own. You never know. Lincoln, you a sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned the head. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to him? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. Here we are. We're at the strip club. Human trafficking is real. It's the real deal. And let me make sure I'm ready for this fight. What you got? I'm ready for whatever. We know how they get down in this game. We've seen it already. Psst, hey. Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. The element of surprise is on my side. They're upstairs, but how do we get up there? Maybe if we go around the back? The staircase has to be up here somewhere. I don't look too suspicious. Okay, I just broke a chair, so maybe I am suspicious. Because I'm going a little bit fast. Oh, money! Can I take that money without without any, any rip? Oh, look at that! Nobody sees me taking their money. I'll just take it all. And that's how the damage has been done. 
There's more money in there. Okay, but there's two guards in there. So we don't want to go in there just yet. Let me scope the place. I really like this mission. It's up to you how you want to do this. We're going to go through the back first. Look at this guy, this poor victim, all by himself. Get down to the ground. I slipped his neck. Wow, let me go ahead and move him because it is not very discreet to have him right there in the light. Let's bring him back there. There's a lot of guards around here. A lot of them patrolling. Can't afford to ruin it because of one guy being seen. So I'll put him in this back room. It doesn't look like anybody's going to come back here. Now let's go back over there and see if anybody else comes up. I don't think so, but... I don't know, maybe there were other people. I'm not sure. There's definitely people over there. And wait a second, here comes another guy. You see that? If I leave that body there, this guy would see that, alert everybody, and there would be no element of surprise. And they know the layout of this place. I don't. Once again, playing stealthy is healthy. And there goes some more money. Got him. Ooh, I stabbed him in the neck. That's brutal. That guy's already in the dark, so maybe we'll leave him there. We're taking the money. We're doing a little bit of damage, but we want that entire 15,000. When I was looking at that arms dealer, there's a lot of weapons that go for 15,000, so we'll be pretty good. A weapons locker? You already know I gotta go to the weapons locker. We gotta go that way. There's some more money right here, but will there be people? There's no people patrolling, but there is. There's somebody outside, it looks like, and somebody to my right. Taking the stash of money. That stack of money. Oh, wait a second. Somebody just spawned right there. Did you see that? People are just spawning in this game all over the place. Take a walk. All of you. Don't mind me, ladies. Ooh! What a brutal. Don't say anything. Ladies, do not say a word. Don't worry about me. Shh, be quiet. You don't care about that guy. Why do you care about that guy? Just get out of here. Another 250. Oh, here's the weapons locker. What do you think is going to be in there? It looks like a vest. Hey, I'll take that vest. Attack vest acquired. See, maybe I don't have to use my money to buy weapons and gear. Maybe I can just unlock it and find it and save the weapons or save the money for something else. That guy has to be next. I can't let that guy because that's my escape route. I think he's gone. Yeah, I think I'm gone. Because when I'm ready to break from this place, I'm going to come out here. If I execute this beautifully, I don't want to come out here and then make noise and then attract the cops. Because getting away from the cops is not that easy. Oh, another brutal death. And I think we can leave him out here because I doubt anybody else is going to come. Let me see if that gun is better. I think I like the gun that I already had better than that. that oh, that looks mean. I think we're going to stick with that. That looks absolutely mean. That looks vicious. I'm ready for this game. Don't forget to like this video for faster uploads. I can already tell this is going to be a disaster. The way this car is handling. No, get out the way. Oh, I just ran over a cop. Oh, and a civilian. Oh, why were they in my path like that? Unbelievable. Oh, terrible turning. Oh, we couldn't get a sports car or something.